Welcome back to another edition of Weathering the Kitchen. We're doing a DIY project today with some leftover birch logs that I used in a previous project to create this, which is like its own little wrapped present with these birch logs that you can put either in a faux fireplace or you can put it at the front steps of your door to welcome folks or next to a real fireplace. Or as Jacob just told me, you can bring it to a grave site like our Emma's grave site, right? To kind of dress it up for the holiday season. And you only need three or four items to create this. So you're gonna help me? What's that? What day is it? It is Sunday. So we're gonna create this for you and show you how simple and easy this is. So for this project, all you need is three birch logs. They can be any length or size. You need these cable ties. You need either one long one, or I actually have short ones, and I created one big one. And then you're gonna need some ribbon. It can be any kind of Christmas ribbon, Christmas trees. The other one I use is snowflakes. You're gonna need two separate pieces for that. And any sort of fake or real leftover garland that you have around the house. And that is all you're gonna need. So let's put these aside real quick. And then we're going to take our cable ties, sneak that one under, and you are going to basically tie these logs together here, just like this. And this is gonna keep them together, and this will be hidden underneath. There we go. There we go, where's the scissors? Can you get me the scissors? Okay, you need to cut that right there. Leftover string right here. Yep, open them up, cut it right there. There we go. Okay, you can throw that away. Throw it away. Good job. All right, so there you can see now these are nicely tied together. And the next thing we're going to do is take one piece of the ribbon and sneak it underneath. Yep. Wrap it around. Wrap it around. All right, turn around so people can see. Okay, so you wrap it around and then we're going to tie it. This, I go. Covering cable tie. Okay. There, nice and tight, and then just leave them. Okay. So then we just leave that like this. So there you go. Now this is tied up. All right. Then we're going to take the other ribbon, and you're going to basically create four loops like this. Okay. Because this is going to be the bow part of it. We're creating our own bow. So you just kind of fold all these together. And with your four loops together, you're gonna to place that on the top of the logs and take the other two ends that you already tied and then tie the four loops together with those other two ribbons. And once you twist these and tie them together, then that four loop is going to be secured on the top. So there we go, get that nice and tight. And then you can kind of just finagle and kind of puff these circles a little bit. So it looks like a wrapped bow on the top, a bow that you created. And then you're gonna take the, these longer ends and you're just gonna snip them, just so they're not hanging too low, but you want them to kind of come down just a little bit on that sides. This one here we don't need. All right, so the last thing you're gonna do is take some leftover garland, either fake or real, or maybe you can go outside and get some real ones off of your pine trees. And you're gonna take this, go to the one side, tuck it underneath, and pull it through. So then it kind of hangs on the side. And you take the other one, put it on the other side here, tuck it under, and there you have it. There is your perfect birch log present that you can display anywhere inside or outside your home or give as presents. These really don't cost all that much money and you're good to go. All right, and there you have it. In less than 10 minutes, you can decorate some simple birch logs into something completely festive that I believe can last through the Christmas season. This will brighten up your home January, February when it's kind of dark and dreary out there and not much happening. These will impress your family and friends and would really make some cool gifts. That is an easy DIY project that you can gladly say to them, I did this. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn more or get some recipes, right below me, weatheringthekitchen.com. In addition, check out that video. You may learn something new. Also, hit the subscribe button. I'll push content out every Saturday morning, whether it's in the kitchen, in the garden, or home decor. Don't miss out.